saw in one of my previous videos, I was having issues with my new board. It's still within the six month threshold. So they actually sent me a replacement hub motor for one of the wheels free of charge. And I'm gonna go ahead and try and install it. They did offer to install it for me. All I would have to do is wait for a box that they were gonna send. I would ship it to them, they'd ship it back. But I figured I'd take this opportunity to at least make a video about it for you guys. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And otherwise, check it out. So as you can see, the motor on the left side is not quite spinning. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start by taking this top part off. The back part comes with this skate tool as well as some other Allen wrenches, but I already tried the skate tool and it kind of stripped this first screw a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and just use this big heavy duty drill. So this is like a rubber gasket. It looks like that same carbon fiber maybe. And the grip tape, so looks like it's done a decent job at protecting everything. I don't see any moisture issues in here. So I believe this goes next. So I believe that's the ground cable. So here's the battery pack. I'm gonna kind of wedge it right here. So next I'm going to detach both of these cables. This yellow one here comes off pretty easily. Now this white one has kind of like a rubber gasket seal on it, so I'm going to have to cut this off with some scissors. So the battery comes out pretty easily. Nice little battery pack with the Backfire logo on there. I'd like to get another one one day. Now I'm going to remove the motor, which is two wires as well. I'm going to give the board a little bit of a flip and now I'll start removing the actual motor by unscrewing the five screws on the wheel. Pull a little hubcap off, this requires a little wedge from the Allen wrench that I was using and it comes right off. So now we'll slide the urethane off and we'll be reusing this so I'll need to hang on to that. And I actually found some bits of plastic that came off of the motor. I'm not exactly sure where. So we're gonna pop off this nut right here. Just be advised there is a washer underneath. I missed it at first. Don't lose that washer. I wanna take a look at the new motor to see what exactly had to be done. And it looks like the entire thing is gonna be replaced. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna tug on the motor a little bit. Let's see a little plastic sleeve pops off right here. Just make sure you hang on to that. Had a bit of a hard time pulling the cables out of the hole itself because there is a rubber gasket that's protecting them. So once I got the gasket out, it was a little bit easier to pull. But I actually ended up just quitting and I pulled out the scissors, cut the cable, called it a day. Here's a better look at when I actually pulled that gasket out. Next up with the plastic sleeve as well as the rubber gasket on the cables for the new motor and started feeding the cables through the hole. This part took quite a bit of time simply because the hole is tiny and you don't have too much room to work. Now we've got to remove the hubcap off the new motor so that we can put the urethane back on. Next, you slide the urethane on. You just gotta line up where the screws go. You'll see the holes through the bottom. Not too difficult, but it did take me a couple tries. And then I put the new hubcap back in place, put the five screws back on. I'd say we're moving pretty smoothly at this point. Then we got the two cables that need to be connected again. Let's go in super easy. And that's it. So the final step is putting the battery back on. Slides right back in the way we found it. And you connect the two battery cables. You put the ground on top, screw everything back in place. And before I put the battery lid back on, I wanted to give the motors a little test. Voila, everything works great. So we will put the battery lid back on, put these eight screws back in place. Don't tighten them too hard. So the board's all fixed, as you can see here, and it's working pretty well. So I'm pretty excited about it. Check out these clips. 
riding smooth. I think there's a little bit of room to tighten up the stuff inside, but otherwise I am pretty happy. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button below, leave a comment, and share the video with your friends if you're interested in electric skateboards. I've got other videos about electric skateboards, mainly backfire for now, but hopefully we'll get into some other boards here pretty soon. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate your support, and I will catch you guys in the next one.